take those whistles any day of the week. Thank you very much. Good morning to you all. And I know if you do not have your bedroom done yet, you might be thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to save some cash? We've got your bedroom on a budget with Colin and Justin, everyone. <laughs> in the bedroom with uh, us. This is my light. Oh, okay. I need to Everything stay right light, here. Yes. Yes. I thought you'd you gone all Mariah on us. Exactly. <laughs> so let's talk about this. Uh, you've done this gorgeous, it looks a little antique, uh, beautiful space, all on a budget. You saved some money because you did some of these projects yourself, DIYs. Absolutely. You know, that's it. This week, we're all about alternative shopping, and we'll tell you more about that later. But the look oh. here, it's kind of like shabby chic, but much more chic than shabby. You know, I and I think starting point is, you know, a liquor paint you know is the easiest way to change anything Amherst gray a beautiful heritage color from Benjamin oh, Moore on right. the back wall just sets the scene you know it's such a dramatic gray and immediately you feel that you're transported back in time and that's really important with this look indeed it is now as we talk today Tracy we're going to look at different places to find really lovely things for your home that don't necessarily come from the places that we're used to shopping Good. starting off with these incredible louver doors now louver doors are great for wardrobe application for windows but you can also be extra creative. Now we've done them as backdrops to these beds, these really gorgeous antique French inspired louver door backdrops. You'll also notice that we've taken them out from the back of the wall a little bit. If you've got a really tight space yeah. and you need some extra nooks and crannies to store all your stuff, you could have a really narrow pull out shelving system oh, or a little smart. rack to hide all your bedroom paraphernalia. To, to make them extra special, we've taken them from their original white, done this gorgeous cream paint by Benjamin Moore, and then dry brushed that same grey that we have in the backdrop. Now, dry brushing is something you've probably heard of that sounds as if it's tricky. It's actually really easy. You take a brush, you dab it in your paint, you dab the majority of the paint off on a bit of paper, and then yeah. you dry brush to create that lovely aged antique look. Now, I think that's got bags of personality, and I think the grey gives the cream that extra visual depth. Mm. It does. I mean, everybody's trying to achieve this look. It's yeah. nice that you can do it yourself rather than, you know, spending tons of money um, just using a paint technique. I want to talk about this now. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Yeah, What's I mean, like so this gorgeous antique piece that you shopped and looked for for hours Ro and every day? Do you know what? Exactly. Well, so market. story with this is like we went to France, we went to the antique markets, we spent an absolute fortune because we thought, you know, these doors are from, uh, from Home Depot, we should put something really special on them. Yeah. Aha, mm -hmm. not so. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> genius. I walked out and I saw this set and I thought, oh my gosh, those are so pretty, those pieces. I always want pieces like that in my home. And Justin was like, what do you think it is? I know. Can you <laughs> guess? <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, so that's simple. A doormat. And you know what? All you do is you get a little paint roller. You roll her the cream that's calming cream from Benjamin Moore and then roll it on top yeah. and then just leave it. And so it does cool. it all for you, you know? That's just actually, really good thinking. On I another mean, show in Britain, Tracy, we did those and we painted them dra dramatic gold. We sprayed them. Oh, so there are lots of different things that you can do. Really now, I want nice. you to avert your eyes from our spectacular wrought iron panels and look at the mirror on the back wall. Now, we actually used simple pieces of exterior detailing. These are the kind of thing that you would put on your porch to add a little bit of kind of heritage. Yep. They're made from cast plastic, so they're really, really lightweight. Came from Home Depot, from the outside department. Nice. So rather than have them that way with a shell for a piece of your roof held up visually, we've put them flat like this around a mirror from Beauclair. Now, the mirror started off in a darker shade, painted cream again, bit more of a trusty dry brushing, and then one of these at each corner. Now, that to me adds presence using yes. things that you wouldn't expect to normally find in the bedroom. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay, and now this piece in the middle as well. You know um, what? We are frugal, aren't we? Used Sorry. Reused piece? Uh, this is a reused piece. You know, we are Scottish and we're so frugal. Yeah. We're not cheap. We're, we're not cheap, that. you know? That's the thing. It's all about alternative shopping. Now, this is from a company called Source Liquidations, and they buy up all the old furniture from hotels. You know, yes. when they change over, they buy up the old furniture. That piece cost us... $39. Oh. Okay, so like under 40 bucks. And Good. again, we've painted that with the calming cream. We've used an aging effect on that to create that weathered look. And changing the handles really changes the personality. Yeah. You know, those black pools, they're from Lee Valley and they make a huge difference. And it's nice if you try and tie the look in together. So there are kind of black touches on the mats, black touches on these lamps. How classy are these lamps Lovely. from Walmart? 
Oh, lovely. You know, so it's nice if you actually piece really it good. together and just give it a look. I think so. And then final styling into IKEA. Tried and tested, really good value stuff. Bedding, really simple stuff, and it yeah. really speaks to that whole French kind of aged, lovely antique look. To me, this is a really easy way to really maximum style, to have maximum style for minimum financial input. So you don't need to spend a lot of money to look really classy. Right now, the money you save, you've got to put into the sanding and, oh, and all of that stuff. You got to put the work in. That's but there's the so many of our viewers are so good at this sort of thing. We see the projects, keep them coming, um, and if you know how to do it, it's it's easy. Preparation, as always, is key. If you rush something, it will always look second rate. Right. Spend a bit of time, lots of sandpaper, and a bit of elbow grease, and you're done. <laughs> Thanks, cute. Uncle Justin. Oh, I know. <laughs> Got to do it's it properly. Like every marriage pre 1950. Indeed. Isn't yes. it? Yeah, exactly. Get Don't get touch. Out. Hands off. I love get it. Just get hot. Keep your feet on the floor. That's right. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful.